if you're in the market for an ultimate urban living experience, look no further than Boston's top luxury condo buildings. Today we are going to be discussing some of the finest full-service amenity-rich buildings Boston has to offer. This list includes some of the most notable buildings and newer luxury developments that embody luxury living in Boston, Massachusetts. This is not an all-inclusive list and rather a glimpse into some of the most predominant sought-after addresses that should be considered by anyone interested in exclusive luxury living. This will be a basic introduction to the buildings and I will have more in-depth videos for each building mentioned soon. My name is Charlie Smith. I'm a Boston real estate advisor specializing in condo buildings and new construction. If you want to learn more about the greater Boston real estate market or want access to exclusive property listings not on the market, please reach out to me. I am at your full disposal and ready to assist. The Four Seasons at 1 Dalton Street is an ultra-luxury condo building located in the Back Bay. 1 Dalton was completed in 2019 featuring 61 stories and 120 top-of-the-line units. Developed by Carpenter & Company and designed by world-famous architect Henry N. Cobb, this building is unique for being the third tallest building in Boston and the tallest residential building, not just in Boston but in New England as well. Views from the residences include the Charles River, Cambridge, Boston Harbor, Kenmore Square, Fenway, as well as the scenic landscape of Western Massachusetts. One Dalton houses arguably some of the most luxurious units in Boston. Residences include custom plank floors, 11 foot high ceilings, floor to ceiling windows, top of the line energy efficient appliances, as well as operable windows and multi-zone heating and cooling. Really, every detail has been considered. Units range from studio to four plus bedrooms between 400 and 4,000 square feet per unit. On the lower floors is the Four Seasons Hotel, which was recently ranked number one in Boston and ranked 16th in the US. This building has also received awards such as the Best Tall Building Award and has been recognized in magazines such as Forbes and the Wall Street Journal. One Dalton probably has one of the best amenity packages out of all the buildings in Boston. Managed by the Four Seasons, some amenities include a five-star spa, gym, and swimming pool. There's also a private yoga studio and Pilates studio, a golf simulator room with wet bar, a private theater, and a family activity center with a party kitchen. Other amenities include a pet washing and fully equipped grooming station, a laundry room, and a private business center with dedicated office space. Zuma, a high-end Japanese restaurant, is located on the ground floor. Residents can order directly to their door at no extra cost. Located in the back bay, the Four Seasons at One Dalton is close to some of Boston's most luxurious shops, parks, and restaurants. Being right outside the Prudential Center, residents have instant access to shops and restaurants such as Saks Fifth Avenue, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Polo Ralph Lauren, Italy, and even a Tesla store. Also walking distance to Newberry Street where some of the best luxury dining and shopping takes place. One Dalton is located in one of the best areas in Boston just based on convenience alone. Being centrally located makes access to the South End, Downtown and Financial District as well as the Boston Medical Area in Cambridge quick and easy. In terms of pricing as of 2023, one bedrooms range between 1.8 to 2.5 million, two bedrooms range from 2.6 to 6.5 million, three bedrooms range from 5.5 to 15 million, penthouse units range from 7.5 to 45 million. One Dalton currently houses the most expensive condo unit for sale in Boston which is listed at 38 million. Winthrop Center at 240 Devonshire Street is a new construction luxury condo building located in the Midtown and Financial District of Boston. Winthrop Center was completed in 2023 featuring 56 stories and 315 high-end units. Developed by Millennium Partners and designed by Handel Architects, this is the second tallest residential building in Boston, giving residents excellent views from the residences. Being brand new at the time of this recording, the units are absolutely stunning with modern, open concept layouts and finishes. Of course, the units have slanted floor to ceiling windows which deliver the pristine views that are expected. The kitchens are top notch with advanced wolf appliances and sub-zero fridges and wine coolers. The marble counters in the kitchen bring the space together for an ultra luxury look, feel and operation. The flooring throughout the unit's living, bedroom and kitchen is a white oak sourced from France. 
the bathrooms feature Italian marble and tubs specifically designed for Winthrop Center. The building itself was designed with sustainability in mind. Millennium Partners actually teamed up with MIT professors to make it more eco-friendly. Amenities at Winthrop Center are next level. The building has over 50,000 square feet of amenities that allow residents to work, play, or relax. The amenities are centralized around being healthy and feature an incredible gym where classes and boot camps can be taken with a very large menu of services. There is also an Olympic-sized lap pool with the city as a backdrop. Another incredible amenity is the Club VIP and is the first of its kind on-site dog daycare and wellness spa exclusively for residents of Winthrop Center. Pets get perks such as training, walks, health checkups, grooming, and more. The five-star concierge services include valet, doorman, private chef, private mixologist, 24-hour security, all controllable from an app that lets residents book service, reserve amenity rooms, and more. There is also an extensive business area that lets residents network, connect, and get work done. Winthrop Center is between Boston's Midtown and Financial District, making it extremely central and making it easy to access the other areas of Boston and beyond. Residents will be very close to Downtown Crossing for shopping, eating, and going to the various theaters. Also in the area are several green spaces and instant access to public transportation. South Station is about two minutes walking. The trendy Seaport District, as well as Boston's historic waterfront, are both walking distance as well. One bedroom start at 1.5 million with a little under 781 square feet. Two bedrooms start at 2.45 million with around 1,300 square feet of space. Three bedrooms start at 6.3 million with roughly 2,400 square feet of space. There are also roughly 15 penthouse units available for sale starting at 8 million. Also developed by Millennium Partners, the developers who built the previously mentioned building, there is Millennium Tower at 1 Franklin Street in Midtown. 1 Franklin was completed in 2016, featuring 60 stories and 442 units. This is the third tallest residential tower in Boston at 684 square feet. It is home to some of the most notable luxury units and is also a beautiful piece of the Boston skyline. Views from the residences include the Back Bay skyline, Boston Garden, Charles River, Boston Harbor, and of course the Atlantic Ocean. The luxury units have the expected floor-to-ceiling windows, white oak hardwood floors, custom cabinetry, marble countertops, wolf cooktop, wolf wall oven, and meal dishwasher. The beautiful bathrooms have white marble floors with radiant heating, stand-up shower and tub, with gray solid marble countertops. Units range from 1 to 4 plus bedrooms between 800 and 4,000 plus square feet per unit. People from all over the world own units here, with some being investors and some being ultra high net worth individuals and predominant figures. Amenities include a 24-7 concierge, doorman, and exclusive access to a two-story club. In this club, residents have a dramatic owner's lounge, private dining and bar, screening room, billiards parlor, library, private function room, outdoor terrace, and a children's playroom. At the club, Millennium Tower residents can host friends and family on the outdoor terrace, providing the perfect opportunity to unwind and enjoy the stunning views of downtown Boston. Being in the heart of Midtown and almost directly in the center of Boston, residents here have all the shopping, dining, entertainment, and green space right at their fingertips. Downtown Crossing has a variety of luxury retail options as well as fine dining. The tower is walking distance from Beacon Hill, Newberry Street, and the waterfront. In terms of pricing, as of 2023, the average price per square foot at 1 Franklin is $1,685. One beds range from 900,000 to 1.2 million. Two beds range from 1.6 to 2.3 million. Three bedrooms range from 3.5 to 7 plus million. Currently, one Franklin holds the record sale at 33 million for the top penthouse unit. Echelon Seaport at 133 Seaport Boulevard is a newer construction, ultra-luxury condo building located in the popular Seaport District. The Echelon was completed in 2019 featuring two 21-story towers and 447 high-end units. Developed by Cottonwood Group, this building is the largest residential development in the Seaport District. Views from the residences include Boston Harbor, East Boston, and the downtown Boston skyline. The luxury units have window walls as well as engineered white oak wood floors to maximize 
minimize the amount of natural light coming into the unit. The kitchen and living room is an open concept space. The kitchen has custom cabinetry imported from Italy and state-of-the-art Thermador integrated appliances. The penthouses feature raised ceilings, marble fireplaces, and private terraces that bring a new meaning to the open concept indoor-outdoor living and allows owners to enjoy the fresh ocean breeze. Echelon's amenity package features five-star services provided by the region, hotels, and resorts. In terms of exercise and wellness, there are two outdoor pools, an indoor pool, as well as the 8,500-square-foot wellness center, which incorporates fitness, so weight and cardio equipment, as well as the Tranquility Spa with indoor and outdoor treatment areas. There are also private yoga and stretching rooms for those who do not want to take part in a class. Another cool feature in the wellness space is a high-end golf simulator room, which is actually used by PGA Pro. Pros. A two-story basketball court that has a screen which broadcasts games while residents hoop is another unique offering. Apart from the wellness amenities, there is an innovation center where residents can network or get work done. There is a full pet spa with outdoor space for residents' pets to get active. At the center of these amenities is an app for Echelon residents where they can call valet for their car, make a dinner reservation, or even book a private jet. Studios start at roughly 800,000, one bedroom start at 1.3 million, two bedrooms start at 2 million, and three plus bedrooms and penthouse units all start at four million. The Ritz-Carlton Residences at 1, 2, and 3 Avery Street is a hotel condo building in another development done by Millennium Partners which was completed in 2001. Featuring 40 stories and 350 plus units between the two towers, these buildings are iconic for the world-famous Ritz-Carlton Hotel. In being a key component of the Boston skyline, views from the residences include Boston Common, Beacon Hill, and the Charles River. From the units on the higher floors, views of the Blue Hills and planes departing and arriving at Boston Logan Airport can be seen. The luxury units feature Brazilian cherry hardwood flooring, beautiful high-end kitchens with Viking gas stovetops, and floor-to-ceiling windows. While the original units are very luxurious and classy, many of the units have since been updated with newer appliances and finishes. The condos feature amenities that can be expected with a luxury brand such as the Ritz-Carlton. 24-hour doorman, concierge, valet parking, and room service are all available for the convenience of the residents. On the first floor, there is an Equinox Sports Club and Artesian Bistro easily accessible. Another special amenity is the discounts condo owners get at Ritz-Carlton Hotels worldwide, which is roughly 20% off at the time of this recording. Just like Millennium Tower, residents are truly in the heart of Boston and have easy access to everything Boston has to offer. In terms of pricing, as of 2023, the average price per square foot is roughly 1100 One bedrooms range from 600000 to $1.5 million. Two bedrooms range from $1.4 million to 2.8 million three bedrooms range from 3 million to 6.5 million and the penthouse units go from 8 million to 25 million Pier 4 at 300 Seaport Boulevard is another ultra-luxury condo building in the Seaport District. Pier 4 was completed and opened in 2019 featuring 9 stories and 106 ultra-luxury units. Developed by Tishman Speyer and designed by Shop Architects, views from the units include the Financial District, Harbor, and Logan Airport. The luxury residences are each unique with no floor plan being exactly the same. The units are between 1,000 and 3,000 square feet, have Italian walnut flooring, marble countertops, and waterfall islands which complement each other perfectly in the open concept spaces. The kitchens are chef-rated with Gagano appliances, chrome pot fillers, wine coolers, and custom Italian cabinetry. The walnut wood flooring and white marble offer a one-of-a-kind look only available at Pier 4. A majority of the units have private outdoor balconies, and all the penthouse units feature large terraces, perfect for entertaining. The building sits on the old location of the iconic Anthony's Pier 4 restaurant and has roughly 17,000 square feet of ground floor retail shopping. Building amenities include personal concierge services, valet, and private lounge with the terrace overlooking looking the harbor. Also a fitness center which includes a golf simulator. The building is pet friendly with a dog spa and services. A unique amenity in the building is Seaport's first farm to table restaurant Woods Hill by renowned chef Kristen Canty. This is a restaurant for residents only. Also right on site is a one acre park for residents to enjoy. Pier 4 is at the corner of Pier 4 Boulevard and Harbor Shore Drive. 
This location offers very easy access to downtown Boston and could easily be walked or biked to. The Boston Harbor Walk stretches around the perimeter of Pier 4, which is great for walking, jogging, or taking in the ocean breeze. Seaport is a very trendy neighborhood, which is home to boutiques, upscale restaurants, and fitness options. Pier 4 actually sits right next door to the Institute of Contemporary Art with a public plaza between the two buildings. One-bedroom units at Pier 4 start at around 1.3 million, two-bedroom start at 1.8 million, and three-bedroom start at 3.2 million. The Pierce at 188 Brookline Ave is a newer luxury high-rise in the Fenway. The Pierce was completed in 2018 featuring 30 stories and 109 condo units as well as 200 rental units. Developed by Samuel & Associates and designed by Architectona Architects, this building is unique for its narrow shape as well as its clad glass and metal paneling, which was chosen to reflect the masonry of the buildings around it. Views from the residences include 360-degree views of Boston, Cambridge, Charles River, and the Emerald Necklace. The luxury units are open and airy with high-end amenities such as a fireplace with marble mantle, wide plank oak floors, custom cabinetry in the kitchen and bathrooms, as well as Sub-Zero and Wolf appliances. The kitchens have waterfall quartz countertops and the two-plus bedroom units feature almost 11-foot ceilings as well as wall windows to maximize the views and natural light. The Pierce offers its residents top-notch amenities such as a 24-hour concierge, doorman, fitness center, yoga studio, pet spa, rooftop pool, club room, common roof deck, and a library. Overall, there is roughly 20,000 square feet of amenity space in total. There is a rooftop deck for condo owners only, meaning that tenants of the rentals here do not have access, making it highly exclusive. Being in the popular Fenway neighborhood, residents have access to some great shops and restaurants. Seconds away, slightly down the street is a Target, and across the street, is a star market. There is also excellent green space in a brand new food court type of area called the Time Out Mall where people have 15 eateries and two bars to choose from. Here there are also movie nights, culinary events, and complimentary fitness series all right outside the residence doorstep. Of course, Fenway is home to Fenway Park, the Museum of Fine Arts, the Stuart Gardner Museum, Symphony Hall, and the Emerald Necklace. It really is an urban feel, but with the green space and amenities of the suburbs. Fenway is great for those who work in the Longwood Medical Area or work downtown, which is a short walk, drive, or train ride away from the Pierce. Universities like Harvard, Northeastern, BU, and Berkeley are all very close as well. In terms of pricing, units trade at roughly 15 to 1600 per square foot. One beds range from 900,000 to 1.5 million. Two bedrooms range from 1.5 to 3.5 million. Three bedrooms range from 2.8 to 5.5 million. And the penthouse units range from 3.5 to 10 million. Another older but still iconic building is the W Boston Residences at 110 Stewart Street in Midtown. The W was completed in 2009 featuring 28 stories and 123 units. Developed by Sawyer Enterprises and designed by William Ron Associates, the W won Best Building Award in 2010. This building is unique for being covered in glass, giving it a sleek look that no other building in Midtown has. Views from the residences include very clear and close-up views of Boston Common and the Garden, Beacon Hill, and Skyline. The luxury units have Bosch, Sub-Zero, and Wolf appliances in the kitchen, espresso-colored wood floors, and darker marble countertops. The living kitchen area is an open concept with floor-to-ceiling windows providing excellent views and lighting. The three-plus bedroom units and penthouse units also feature TVs that come down from the ceiling to avoid blocking the views and light when the TV is not in use. Units range from studios to three-plus bedroom penthouses. The residences are sophisticated and luxurious, but not too over the top like many of the newer luxury buildings are. The residences give off a cozier vibe as many of the finishes are darker. The building also houses a W hotel on the lower floors with 235 rooms. Amenities at the W include a restaurant, bar, room service and cleaning, valet, lounge, and fitness center slash spa. The fitness center, lounge, and spa are all resident exclusive and not accessible to hotel guests. The full concierge service allows residents to call the desk and have their car brought up, reservations made, or drinks and food delivered directly to them. The building is pet friendly and has a spa and play area. Residents also receive discounts at the W Hotels worldwide. Being in the lower Midtown area, residents are located very centrally and have easy access to all the surrounding Boston neighborhoods and suburbs by car, bike, or public transportation. As mentioned previously in the video, with the other buildings in Midtown, residents at the W are about a minute and a half from the Common. 
and two to three minute walk from downtown crossing. Beacon Hill is across Boston Common and has even more boutique stores and some of the best restaurants and bars in Boston. It would take about eight to 10 minutes to get to Beacon Hill from the W. In terms of pricing, the average price per square foot is around 1400 per foot. Studios range from 495,000 to 595,000. One bedrooms range from 800,000 to 1.3 million. Two bedrooms range from 1.5 million to 2.5 million. Three bedrooms range from 1.9 million to 4 million. And the penthouse units go from 3 million to 5 million. Millennium Place at 580 Washington Street is an ultra-luxury mid-rise condo building located in downtown. Millennium Place was completed in 2013, featuring 15 stories and 256 units. Developed by Millennium Partners and designed by Handel Architects, this building is unique for its triangular shape and iconic windows. Views from the residences include the Boston Common and some of the Boston skyline. There are four types of residences in Millennium Place. The theater residences, garden residences, grand residences, and residences on the avenue. Each unit group has its own distinct features. The luxury units have modern layouts with spacious bedrooms. Floor-to-ceiling windows and common concept kitchens with oversized islands are included. The kitchens feature top quality finishes, including custom crafted cabinetry, granite countertops, a GE series paneled refrigerator and freezer, wine cooler, vented cooking, and Bosch paneled dishwasher. All units have between 9 and 12 foot ceilings giving them a unique look and open feeling. The building offers a range of amenities, including 24-hour concierge, a fully equipped fitness center with yoga and pilates studios, a private screening room, and several lounges. The main lounge area offers meals from legal seafoods as well as cocktails. There are frequent events for residents hosted in the various lounges such as movie nights, wine tasting, and networking events. Residents have access to the rooftop terrace with views of the city skyline. There is also a children's playroom and pet friendly amenities such as a dog washing station and pet grooming area. Being located at the intersection of Washington, Winter, and Summer Streets, Millennium Place is within walking distance of Back Bay, Beacon Hill, Waterfront, the Financial District, Theater District, and the North End. One Hundred Shawmut at One Hundred Shawmut Avenue is an ultra-luxury new construction development located in the South End. One Hundred Shawmut was completed in 2021, featuring 13 floors and 138 units. Developed by the Davis Companies and designed by the Copley Wolf Design Group, this building is unique because it maintains the character and streetscape of the original building, which is a six-story brick warehouse. The modern glass structure atop the 1920s warehouse gives the building a unique look which you don't really see anywhere else. Views from the residences include downtown Boston, Back Bay Skyline, Financial District, and of course the surrounding South End. The brand new units have high ceilings, roughly 10 to 12 feet high, depending on the unit and floor. There are also white oak wood floors throughout with engineered wood, Miami Silverstone countertops, and fully integrated appliances by Thermador. The bathrooms are sleek and feature heated floors and marble sink tops. Units range from studios to four bedrooms with certain floor plans offering a den space as well. Amenities at 100 Shawmut feature everything a person would expect with a newer luxury development. Upon arrival, owners walk through a beautiful lobby with a 24-hour concierge and self-park system. Everything is sleek, modern, clean, and flows amazingly well. Adjacent to the lobby is a suite of amenities designed for entertainment and leisure, featuring a chef's kitchen and billiards room. Amenities include an activity lounge, private dining room, billiards room, library, children's playroom, pet spa, courtyard, the 100 Club, fitness center, rooftop sky lounge, and a Tesla on demand. The 100 Club is a lounge where residents of 100 Shawmut will have the choice between three different spaces and outdoor terraces from which to enjoy 360 views of the South End and beyond. 100 Shawmut is in the South End, which continuously grows in popularity year after year. Some of the finest restaurants, bars, parks, and architecture can be enjoyed from this charming neighborhood. The South End is culturally rich with people from all over Boston frequenting the area for the dining and drinking scene. 100 Shawmut is positioned with the purpose of making it easier than ever for commuters. Back Bay and South End are both a 10-minute walk in either direction. The Seaport Financial District and downtown are all about a 15-minute walk. There is a Whole Foods across the street, making making it easy for residents to grab groceries. 14,000 is the average price per square foot, with one bedroom starting at 800,000 and going to 1.5 million. Two bedrooms start at 1.5 million and go to 3 million. Three bedrooms start at 2.5 and go to 6 million, and four bedrooms go from 3.2 to 6 million.
The Quinn at 360 Harrison Ave is another luxury new construction building in the South End. The Quinn was completed in 2022, featuring 14 stories and 101 units. Developed by the related Beal companies and designed by Robert Stern Architects, this building is unique for being in a repurposed bakery. Views from the residences include the Back Bay, South End, and Downtown. The luxury units are fitted with custom oak cabinetry, bronze metal reveals, and polished Calcutta stone. Oak floors and gas burning fireplaces give a warm feeling to the airy modern units. Units are appointed with Sub Zero and Wolf appliances, built in Thermidor wine coolers in the kitchens, and marble bathrooms, built out with the finest and highest quality materials. Floor plans at the Quinn feature one, two, three, and four bedroom configurations with 578 to 2700 square feet of living space. The Quinn offers a distinct suite of amenities and services that help save the residents' time, including a 24 7 concierge offering everything from personal errands to private event coordination. The fourth floor features a billiards room and shuffleboard as well as the library. There is a work lounge where residents can collaborate or get work done, as well as a private dining room where residents can host dinners and wine tastings. There is a unique 8,000 square foot fitness center which includes a bouldering wall, a squash court, and a sauna designed by the very reputable high-end gym brand Equinox. The Quinn's indoor pool offers residents a spa-like experience where they can swim or relax next to the water feature wall. The South End continues to draw artists, entrepreneurs, and families to the neighborhood. As mentioned previously, there are consistently new shops, dining, and drinking experience to explore, as well as many parks in the neighborhood. One of Boston's most desirable areas, the South End boasts an edgy art scene, chic boutiques, and herald restaurants like the Butcher Shop and Toro. The average price per square foot is around $1,500, with one bedroom starting at $900,000, two bedrooms starting at $1.8 million, and three bedrooms starting at $2.5 million. If you're interested in learning more about the greater Boston real estate market or want access to exclusive property listings not on the market, I'm here to help. As a Boston real estate advisor, I work in many of the buildings just mentioned and I'm ready to assist you. Check the description for my contact information and stay tuned for more in-depth videos on each of these incredible buildings.